What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with another Destiny video. And in today's video, I'm actually going to kind of cover a uh, special topic for me. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Crucible. Uh, and uh, actually, specifically, I'm going to be talking about my journey through the Crucible, my love-hate relationship with the Crucible. And then at the end, I'm going to do a little commentary and, and hopefully give you guys, uh, some of you newer players, and some people who maybe you don't like the Crucible give you a few tips on how you can make it more enjoyable and just get to uh, get to be a little bit better to the point where you want to play it more often. Now, I will admit when I first started playing Destiny, I didn't really enjoy the Crucible that much. And I think part of the problem was I, I come from a uh, pretty long background of playing uh, competitive PvP games. Um, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1 and 2. I played all four of those games very extensively. Um, I go back as far as some of the Tom Clancy uh, Delta Force games back in college, which we used to have to play on a LAN network in somebody's room. And uh, Halo, obviously, the f Halo, you know, the first Halo all the way through Halo Reach, played a lot of PvP in Halo. And uh, MMOs as well, played lots of PvP there. But overall, I really do, uh, I do enjoy the PvP in Crucible now. I didn't when I first started playing the game, and I think part of the problem was I came from a lot of those other games. And the kind of the, the play style that you need in Destiny's PvP and the Crucible and in the Iron Banner, it's uh, a lot different than those games. You have to kind of relearn how to play if you try to, especially like where I came from Call of Duty. In Call of Duty, I really I preferred to play a uh, more of a run-and-gun play style where I uh, would just run, you know, helter-skelter with an SMG and shotguns or whatever and play it up close, you know, run-and-gun. And, gun. and uh, that worked very well for me. Um, up until about Black Ops 2 when the lag became kind of an issue and the campers really became an issue, I had to kind of adjust my play style. But for the most part, I was able to play, you know, a pretty decent play style with that. Now, when I came to Destiny, I tried to do the same thing. I tried to run around like a chicken with my head cut off, and what I found was that that does not work in this game. If you run around crazy in this game, you will die a lot if you just try to play without any kind of... Uh, any, any kind of strategy in this game, you will die quite a bit. And that's something you have to figure out when you start to play. You have to get used to it. You have to kind of adjust to it. You're not going to do very well at first if you came from some of those other games. Um, I played a lot of Battlefield as well, and Destiny is, is not at all like any of those games. So you, you really do have to kind of adjust and, um, you know, get your play style. Figure it out what it's going to be. You have to learn the maps. There's a lot of stuff you have to do. So when I first started out, uh, I played a couple games of the Crucible. Uh, more so because I had to, because I got a couple exotic bounties. I tried to get into a little bit into it early and, and play, and didn't really enjoy it. My KD at first was horrible. I was horrendous at it. I was a um, like a .30. I mean, that's pretty much like not even not even having a pulse in the Crucible. I was absolute garbage at it. I was terrible. And what happened was after a couple matches. You know, I was one of those people who I just started to, started to cry about it, and I was like, this sucks, and it's unbalanced, and, you know, I can't kill anybody, and everybody else is cheating, and you, you know how it is when you get into a game and you're not playing well, and you just get on that little, you get that little attitude about it, and, you know, it's not, you think it's not you, it's it's other players, you know, it couldn't possibly be the fact that you're not very good at Crucible, it's, uh, it's, it's gotta be the fact that everybody else is doing something differently that you're not, or they're using an overpowered weapon, or, or whatever it is, you know, it's, it's not something... You know, you, you, it's, it's just really hard to let yourself uh, think that you're not doing well. So it took me a while. I had to kind of eat some humble pie. And what happened actually for me is I started to watch uh, a lot of videos on the Crucible. And that's one thing I did when I used to play Mass Effect 3's co-op. I was horrible at that when I started to, and I couldn't understand why. And so I spent a couple days just watching videos on class setups and guides and, and things like that. And really, that helped me get a lot better. Now, the one thing I will say on Destiny, the channel that has helped me out the most is a, um, a guy by the name of his, he is, uh, his channel is called My Name is Bife, and he does uh, Crucible gameplay stuff mostly. He's very good. Uh, he's one of the better Crucible players in Destiny, in my opinion. And he does some really good basic tip guides and basic setup guides and other things for the Crucible. It really helped me uh, watching his videos, learning how to play the game. It really helped me learn how to play the Crucible and uh, get better at it and just learn that I had to adjust my playstyle. So, I'm going to link his channel below. I hope you guys will go check that out. And, um, you know, he's got some really good tips if you're a beginner in the Crucible. 
So overall, my journey in the Crucible, after I kind of got over my initial hate for it, um, I started to apply a lot of the tips I was seeing in the videos, started to watch a lot more YouTube videos on it, and uh, what what I was able to do actually was uh, go into Iron Banner and actually be competitive okay. in Iron no. Banner. Now, like I said, I started off at a point. 3-0 KD with my Titan, and I decided I was just going to gut it out. I played primarily on my Titan. Uh, didn't use any other class. I wanted to get him to the point where, you know, he, he was I was better at PvP with him. And one of the reasons I'm doing this video is kind of a little bit of a milestone. Is I actually did just go over 1.0 uh, lifetime KD with my Titan. I finally, you know, got a positive uh, kill-death ratio, and I, I was... I don't want to say I'm proud of myself, but I'm very happy about it. It's something that I'm really happy with, and you know, I'm, I'm excited because it shows that I'm actually starting to improve. And even in the last couple Iron Banners, I've managed to get a KDs. Like my average KD, I keep track of it in Iron Banner, has been over one point, you know, one point oh most of the time in the one point three, one point two area. So I, I know I'm getting better as a player, and I try to improve every match, and that's what's been very enjoyable for me is able to see the statistical improvement, see that I'm getting better at it. Um, just in general, so that's kind of my uh, how I've managed to improve at this game, and you know, just my personal story when it comes to the Crucible is that you know it's it's a journey. You have to sort of uh, figure out your play style and what you want to do and how you want to play. So there is hope, guys. Um, like I said, I started off as a pretty terrible player in the Crucible, and I got better. So there is hope for you guys if you. Don't enjoy the crucible if you don't like it. There are ways you can get better at it. There are a lot of things you can do uh, to play better. Just some general advice that I'm going to give here uh, in in the end here. And like I said, you know, you got to kind of adjust your attitude. You got to realize that it's not the regular PvP you're used to. You got to come into it. There's a lot of different mechanics. There's supers. There's a lot of map knowledge really plays into it. What kind of game mode are you running? There's a lot of stuff that goes into it with this game that really you have to figure out. Supers can really do a lot of damage. You can turn the tide of a match with them. You have to know when to use them and things like that. So, you know, it's just there's really a lot that you have to account for in this game. And that's one of the things I wasn't aware of at first. So it took me a while to get better. And I used Iron Banner as sort of, uh, sort of a, a barometer to judge my performance. I kept track of all my match results. I kept track of my KD results. kept track of... Uh, my gameplay footage, and I actually would go back and watch my gameplay footage, and it, it helps me, to, you know, if you want to do that, it helps you analyze uh, how, how you're doing, you know, you may, you may point out things that you could be doing better, and, you know, it's just a good way to analyze your, your play style, help you figure out what your play style is, you know, and you can see areas that you could have uh, could have done a little bit better in, and maybe succeeded a little bit at, at it when you're doing that, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm rambling on about my own journey here, so I'm going to jump over to give you guys some general uh, tips in the Crucible. And you guys can see here, I'm actually doing fairly decent this match. This is a, a pretty good match for me. I don't normally, I like, you know, I do pretty well, but this is a very good match for me this time around. So what I wanted to start off with talking about is going to be figuring out what your play style is in Destiny, because it's, it's, uh, it's very, uh, you need, it's really, um, important that you figure out what you want to do, because there's a lot of different ways you can play, you can play with a lot of different weapons, you know, do you prefer up close and personal, do you prefer to play from mid-range or long range, you know, you have to figure out what you're comfortable doing, and so what I, I suggest to do is when you first start off playing uh, the Crucible in Destiny, is figure out, you know, what, what that play style is for you, and, you know, how you want to to go about that. You want to play from the mid-range, and you probably want to use an auto rifle or a pulse rifle and kind of play patiently. Don't go rushing into areas and take enemies out from a distance. If you want to play a little bit more long-range to even to mid-range, then you probably want to use a scout rifle or a hand cannon to where you can actually, uh, you can actually, um, you know, take enemies down from a, from a good distance away. Now, certain weapons are also going to dictate your play style. If you're going to use a scout rifle or a or a hand cannon, then you want to do, you want to be able to get precision shots, because precision shots are what are going to turn the tide of battle for you, they're what are going to uh, give you your most effective damage, and they're, they're going to allow you to win a lot of gunfights with people. Now the one thing you do have to, to realize with that playstyle is there are certain weapons are going to be at a disadvantage in the Crucible. Right now, the current Crucible setup, pulse rifles are pretty much dominating because of the recent buff on weapon patch 1.1.1. So if you go up against a good player who has a uh, weapon like a Red Death 
or bad juju or three little words, one of the really good pulse rifles, you are going to have to do some work to take them down. Red Death right now, if you play against someone who's really good with it, it just it just rips you to pieces so so quickly. Um, so, but yeah, play style is, is very very much an important part of Destiny. You have to figure out what yours is. Do you want to play a rushing, more of a rush play style? Then if you do that, you probably want to just run around with a shotgun because that's one of the options you do have in the current state of the game is to just use a secondary weapon as your primary. I'm personally not a huge fan of that, but on the maps, some of the maps are smaller maps and you have to go to this that, that kind of close quarters play style. There are some very good shotguns in the game. Uh, you know, I'm not going to make any specific recommendations. The invective shotgun you get is pretty good. Uh, secret handshake. You, you can get a couple of them from the vendors or just as drops, but there's some very good shotguns in the game. If you have Felwinter's Live in the last couple of Iron Banners, that is an excellent weapon in the Crucible. Um, but that's one option you do have is to run around and just sort of use a shotgun and play a close quarters uh, play style. But you have, to, you have to just figure that out. And it may take you a few games. You may not do very well at first, but you have to figure out what works for you. And my, in terms of my play style, I like to use a, uh, a hand cannon. You know, in this game, I was using Soros Regime. But I do like to use hand cannons. I do like Paul. I like all pretty much all the weapons. Uh, but hand cannons are probably my favorite, and then auto rifles. And I do like to play that more mid to long range play style. Uh, let me actually see if I have. Let's say, well, last word's not really a long range hand cannon. We'll see what map it is. Now that's something else we'll talk here is, uh, you know, adjusting your play style to whatever, whatever map you end up coming on. This is Asylum, so I'm actually going to run with my last word here. Um, but that's one other thing, is have a lot of different weapons. Try out different weapons. And one thing I will say, I'm going to get into weapons here, actually, so this is good for it. Um, first off, you want to use a weapon you're comfortable with. If you like using auto rifles, uh, then find a good off of an auto rifle. In the normal Crucible, damage is normalized, so you don't have to have an exotic or a legendary. You know, if you have a rare weapon that you really like, or even a green weapon, you know, uh, two weapons that are really solid in the Crucible, actually... One is the Stranger's Rifle, which is a rare pulse rifle you get from uh, actually beating the campaign. It's a level 15 weapon. Most people get it and just throw it in the vault. It's actually a very good, uh, very good weapon. It's just a rare. It's it's not a it's not an exotic. It's not a legendary. It's just a rare weapon, and you can do very well with it. So that's one thing I would uh, I would suggest taking a look at is do you have a uh, an uncommon or a rare weapon that you really like, and maybe that's something you should you want to use. You can see there's a lot of lag in this game. That should actually have been a kill. I got a couple of headshots there that didn't record, so that is one thing that can be frustrating in the Crucible sometimes is lag. But getting back to weapons, like I said, you know, find a weapon that you really enjoy using, that you're really comfortable with, whether it's a, a hand cannon, whether it's a pistol, or not a pistol, pistol, hand cannon, the same thing. Uh, auto rifle, scout rifle, you know, figure out what you like to use and, and use it. You know, shotguns are very effective at close range. You can see here, if you can get up in somebody's face, and of course he killed me first, but shotguns are very effective, and there are a lot of times one hit kill up close, so that's a, another weapon option you want to look into is your secondary. Uh, fusion rifles used to be the norm in a crucible, but they've had some uh, weapon nerfs to them, so not very useful anymore, at least compared to shotguns. But, uh, you know, like I said, green, blue weapon, green and blue weapons that have good perks can work very well. They can even hold up against exotic weapons if you're a good enough player and you get a lot of uh, precision shots. And one of the things you want to do is you want to experiment with different weapons. Now, a lot of times when I'll do this is if I get into a match and I'm just playing really, really bad. Uh, I used to get really upset and just quit. But now what I do is if I start playing really having a bad match in the Crucible... What I'll do is I'll actually try to turn it into more of like an educational thing. I'll just start using different guns. I won't worry about my KD, and I'll just try to play and chalk it up to just being a bad match. And I'll, you know, I'll just try to play play a little bit better with different weapons and see if I maybe can't figure out a weapon that I like better than what I'm currently using. So that's one thing you can do if you're starting off and you're not playing very well. You know, you can kind of mix it up a little bit and try to find different weapons that you like, uh, that you're that you're good with. And that, sorry guys, I'm getting off track here. It's always every time I try to play and do commentary, it's like I get distracted because I'm trying not to die. And I'm dying anyways. But but yeah, so definitely mix it up with the weapons. Try different weapons out. And here I'll even show you, like I'm using last word here. Uh, let's see. I mean we can we can use uh, what can we do? We can use the this Idolon ally here, you know, which is not a great weapon in most Crucible maps, but this is a close quarters map, so this actually may do a little bit better than it normally does. 
And the people, if I manage to actually kill anybody with this, they're probably going to get really upset. Don't be Heavy ammo available. So, but that's pretty much one of my points here is, you know, try out a bunch of different weapons. Try try them out and see if you like them. And uh, whatever, you know, what, what you're comfortable with is maybe not what somebody else is comfortable with. There's, there's a lot of weapon variety in the game, and it's just important to figure out what weapons you want to use and what weapons fit your playstyle the best. Now, the other thing I'll start talking about now, which I just, I just wasted one there, is uh, supers. Uh, you want to figure out how the best way is to use your super, depending on what class you're using. You're using a warlock or titan or hunter. Uh, hunters, to me personally, have the best supers for PvP. They're very uh, single target oriented. You can take out a lot of people with them. In a short amount of time, if you're using Arc Blade or if you're using uh, um, Gunslinger, Golden Gun is a great uh, PvP super, and Arc Blade is a very good PvP Bone super that you can take out entire teams with if you time it right. Uh, Hunters also have very good exotics that are tailored to their supers. Uh, they have a helmet that gives them more time with their Arc Blade, and also a helmet that gives them uh, more time with their Golden Gun, or actually an extra shot with their Golden Gun. So. Uh, there are definitely some good uses to Hunter Supers. I think Hunters personally have the best Supers in the game. And Titans are also decent, Warlocks are also decent, but they're just not as... They don't... The kill potential for both those types of Supers is just much uh, more difficult to to take advantage of versus the, um, you know, when we're talking about a Hunter. And that's one of the things you have to take into account. If you're using a Hunter... Uh, Nova Bomb on a Warlock versus Fist of Havoc on a Titan. You have to really figure out the best way to use those in order to maximize your kill potential with them. Now that could be, you know, I like to use those in control. Wait till somebody's capping a flag and try to get their whole team. Or another great thing you can do if you have a uh, Nova Bomb or Fist of Havoc saved up is wait till the heavy ammo spawn hits and then you want to run to the enemy's heavy ammo spawn and, and super them while they're trying to load up on the heavy ammo. That's a, a good way to get quick kills. I've, I've actually gotten a lot of uh, multi-kills doing that. And uh, it's just a good way to, to get your kills. Now, what a lot of people refer to with the Titan and the and the Warlock are what we call the Panic Supers. The Fist of Panic or Nova Bomb Panic. And basically, what that is is when you use your super on one person if you're losing a gunfight. Or if somebody comes around a corner, you just hit your super and you just use it on that one person. Uh, like that guy in front of me just did, and I couldn't see it because I was blinded there, but you can see now he's teabagging. That, that's just that's just ridiculous. <laughs> he's still going at it. Uh, it's just unreal. But um, that's what we call Fist of Panic. You use it on one one guy. Uh, you know, I, I don't like to do that. I will do it now and then, and I think it's appropriate. Like if you are running and you see somebody coming up to you with Arc Blade, then you want to... Uh, you If you have a super, you want to use your super because if, if you see somebody with Arc Blade... And you can use a super to take them down. It's like you can actually, uh, you can save your team a lot of deaths and a lot of points if you take somebody down with Arc Blade really quickly using your Fist of Havoc or your Nova Bomb. Now, the one time I do, and I'll, I'll self admit that I do Panic Super now and then, but the one reason I normally do it is because I just run around with my super the whole match and it's like, I, you know, I just get bored. It's like I've been hanging on to it and. I just want to get rid of it and use it so I can start building up another one. And uh, that's one of the things I will do is just go ahead and waste it on somebody. You know, if I've been running around with it for 15 minutes or something, it's like just got to get it rid of that super and use another one. So I don't really mind the panic panic supering as much. The super is there. It's it's a method. It's a tool for you to get more kills with. So why not take advantage of it even when you are, you know, if it's only on one person, it's only on one person. And I mean, if that's where you have to start off and you have to start off that way. To, to get kills, then, you know, I'm going to do it right here. Just panic super that. I killed myself, too. <laughs> but that's basically the definition of a panic super. So you guys can, can see that firsthand. Now, one of the things that's going to come into play, too, and this has to do with weapons and supers and everything, is your, is your map knowledge. You know, you need to you need to really know the maps well in these matches. You have to figure out, you know, some matches I don't do very well just because I don't know the maps. It's a map I haven't played very often. Uh, it's a map I just don't know very well. Uh, that's map knowledge is definitely something that you want to uh, want to learn. And like I said, if you're having a bad match, that's another reason. Don't quit. Just stay in the match. You know, maybe you want to pace yourself and, and play a little bit slower, run around the map a little bit more, and really uh, try to figure out where you can go on that map. 
know, in, in terms of uh, choke points and knowing where people are going to be coming from. You know, really just uh, just take your time and learn learn how to to uh, to play those maps. And uh, map knowledge is going to come in handy for a variety of reasons. The first is going to be you just want to know, you know, where those choke points are. You want to know where people are going to come from. Uh, one thing. If you're playing control, especially, what you'll usually find out is that the A and C flags are usually pretty void of action, and the B flag, or whatever flag is in the middle of the map, is just going to have a ton of people fighting over it. It's going to be a very heated, heated battle, um, and that's where if you want to go get some kills, you can go there and, and uh, you know, try to try to get some kills on people that way. So it's uh, it's very important to know the maps. And uh, learn learn those locations, learn what flags are going to be the hot spots if you want to go pick up some kills. And that's that's just you know one of the very important parts of the Crucible. It's another thing that you need to know is, is how to how to um, you know, how to do those maps. I can't see this guy. I don't know he's pitching out on me, but <laughs> just getting assist after assist here. All right, so we got another match win. That's two victories in a row. That's really pretty good for me. So I'll. Uh, Probably stop at this point because we're getting pretty close to the end of this guide, anyways. You know, I'm rambling on. You guys are probably like, "What the hell are you talking about?" But um, you know, and the other thing that comes into map knowledge is that you really want to know where those heavy ammo spawns are. You'll notice in there, um, you know, grabbing that heavy ammo is very important. I didn't get any of that match, but the other thing is too, you'll get you'll see teams running to get that a lot. You can pull off a super on a heavy ammo spawn and get a lot of kills that way. The other thing is, too, you do want to try to maximize that heavy ammunition. In some of my Crucible videos, where you guys have seen me uh, getting some gameplay for weapons, you'll see that I oftentimes do manage to get that heavy ammunition, and I'm able to uh, to, get, to get a lot of kills that way. One of the things I suggest, if, especially if you're a newer player, is um, a lot of people want to do RPGs, rocket launchers, because they, they hit very hard, they can take out a lot of people in a small area. But the thing is, you're very rarely going to have an opportunity where you can take out more than three or four people with one rocket. Um, you know, if you're on a small map, that might work. But what I've found in general is that I like to use a uh, heavy machine gun. And this is the one that I use in my Warlock. It's the MG-18A Harm's Way. Uh, this is a really solid machine gun overall. You can see there it's got very high stability and it's got a very large magazine. Those are two things that really do come in handy. Plus this has bonus hip fire accuracy. You've got snapshot, quick draw, high caliber rounds. A couple of really good perks that work in PvP. Plus it recharges your grenade faster. Now, you can get different machine guns. Against all odds is when I use my Titan. It's one that I really do like. But you want to go for some perks that are going to benefit you in PvP. Usually field scout for bigger magazines, stability. Um, you know, that's going to help you, you be able to fire more accurately with these weapons. And the thing about, like, for example, for this weapon here, I've got 54 in the magazine, then I usually get a little bit more in reserve on a heavy ammo pack. So when you pick that up in the Crucible, you may only get two or three rockets, and if you miss with one of those, you're losing that kill potential. With a heavy machine gun, you can really carry that ammo for a long time if you can stay alive, and you can get a lot of kills that way. Uh, you just have to play a little bit more patiently. What I like to do is when the heavy ammo spawn first drops, and I grab that, I load up my machine gun, I like to stay in the back. I'll back off a little bit, play a little bit slower, because what's going to happen is you're going to have an initial burst where uh, everybody's unloading their rockets, and everybody is just trying to get mayhem and get all those kills really fast. So what you want to do is let everybody else use their heavy ammo really quick, and then you're going to have your machine gun, you play a little bit more patiently, a little bit slower, you know, you're watching your corners, you're working around the map to areas that are your advantage, and you can basically take out a lot of people because you still have your heavy machine gun. I noticed in the Iron Banner when I was playing against some of the better players, uh, you know, there was one match, a guy who's had Thunderlord, and he was just, I mean, he literally had heavy ammo the entire match because he was playing that patiently and just waiting people out and just getting a ton of kills with this heavy machine gun. And if you have a, a like one with Field Scout or a very large magazine, you can really do some good work with that when it comes to, uh, you know, to, to taking advantage of that heavy ammunition. So that's another tip I would give and one that's helped me out is just using a heavy machine gun and playing with that and doing pretty well with it. And the last thing I would say, guys, is you want to kind of work on your, you know, get your build. This is my Void Walker. You can see I use a build with a little bit higher recovery and agility. Um, I found that armor, for the most part, for me personally, it doesn't make a huge bit of difference. Now, it will come in, come into more play when you're doing Iron Banner, where the level advantages and stat advantages are turned on. But a normalized Crucible, it's not a big deal. Uh, you want recovery to be... I like my recovery high. That way I can recover from a gunfight faster. If I take somebody down, but I'm in a sliver of health, uh, then that allows me to 
uh, to get back into the fight a little bit quicker. I just have to hide for a little bit to recover my health. And then agility allows you to move around the map a little bit faster, which can come in handy in control because it will allow you to get up to uh, those control points a little bit quicker. You can flank people a little bit quicker. But that's one thing to really pay attention to is your build, uh, kind of build your character, your play style. And that works, especially like if you're on a Titan and you're using Fist of Havoc with uh, with Aftermath or using Pulse Grenade, and there's a perk on the Titan skill tree that allows you to have those uh, those after effects last a little bit longer. And I've gotten a lot of post-mortem kills using that perk. So you want to spec your, your characters for, you know, the grenades you're using, for the weapons you're using, uh, just in general for your play style. So that's the last thing. I would say there's a lot more stuff I could say about Crucible to help you guys out, but I'm starting to ramble on and on about this, and I, I hopefully this has been some pretty general advice that can help some newer people out, and that's really all I'm trying to do here is show you that you can you can be very, not very good, but you can be good at the Crucible, even if you're not good right now. It just takes a little bit of work. It takes a little bit of patience and just learning how to play certain maps, learning how your play style works. Like I said, I used to be a .30 KD, and I'm now over 1.0 on both my Warlock and my Titan, so I have come a long way and used a lot of those tips. Now, again, I will link you guys below to uh, my name is Bife's channel, so you guys can go check out his channel. He's actually doing a very in-depth guide to the Crucible, which I think you'll find very helpful if you're looking for some PvP tips. So anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful for, help, ugh, helpful for you, if I could talk today. I've just been talking for a long time here, so I'm getting kind of getting into ramble mode so we're going to jump off here hope you guys found the video enjoyable uh, if you guys have any tips of your own please leave them below in the comments for any tips or suggestions hope you guys have enjoyed the video and i'll see you again next time